Okay, hi everyone. I wanted to welcome you back to my channel today. So today's video is going to be a how I contour for my, I would say, an oval face for fair skin. Okay, so the first product, since I already did my base, I did a primer foundation, I did my eyeshadow and the top of my mascara. So I didn't put on any concealer, so we can also use that to highlight. So the first one I'm going to use is the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. And I'm just going to put that under my eye and then a little bit here. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking the wand and I just want to do... And I like dragging it down a little bit to focus there and here. Okay, so I do it like this. Let me see what there's like. Okay, I'm also going to take. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline's Dream Lumi Lumi Touch highlighting concealer. I don't remember the name of it. Okay, and you crank it up. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here, a little bit on this side. up here as well right down the center I like a lot of highlight as you can see and I'll take whatever is left over and I put it on my chin yep all the way around my nose And the side of my mouth. Okay, so once you have all your concealer and highlighting place, I go in with this sponge. I got it at Marshall's, like a fake beauty blender. So I take it and I start to pat it in. Okay, so once you blend it in, you're going to set that with a powder. And I'm going to use the banana powder from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to use this Real Techniques um, setting brush for under my eye. Okay, so I'm going to take this banana shade lightly. And this is just going to help brighten it because it's a yellow color and also help it from creasing.
And I also like to mix it with this highlight color a little bit. Because I feel extra about mixing it. <laughs> And then I just go over again with my beauty blender to make sure nothing is like cakey. Because that can be very heavy handed. Just to make short. Cool. Yep, so let me see. Okay. So the first powder, I usually like starting with this one, which is the Bombs Bahama Mama, but I think I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn color, which is this one. And I like to alternate between both of them, so let's see, I will take the Real Techniques Bold Metal Contouring Brush. Which I really like it because it gives you like the exact shape of your hollow. You can see mine, it's like right here. So that's kind of where I would contour. So I'm just going to put some powder on my brush. Not too much because I have a heavy hand with this stuff. I just kind of like to map out where the color is going to be first. And remember not to bring it too low. That's also another habit of mine. But if you do, you can fix it no problem with this concealer. You see now my cheek looks like instantly like defined compared to this one. Ooh, cool. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to dab it again in this brush contour powder you know what I mean not not dab any in the brush I'm trying to see I feel like this side's easier because you can actually see the line and this one doesn't have one okay so about here and I just kind of blend it out a little bit as I go so it's just not like a strip of like powder. You can see. I feel like my lace is my light. Blah. I feel like my face is kind of lopsided, so sometimes, like, what cheek looks higher. But it's not too bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once we have our base contour down, because I use kind of like a different mix of different powders just to like mix it together so I'm gonna use this brush I also found it at Marshall's I know they still have it I still see it around but I really like it it's super soft it's a Kala um, angled contour 409 brush so I just like to this is like my blending brush for my face pretty much let's blend it out So it doesn't look really harsh. Okay, then I go in with the Bahama Mama by the Balm. And I'm going to take it on this Real Techniques sculpting brush. A little dusty. Got string on it. There's like little strings flying around. Don't know where that came from. Okay. So I just tap it in. This is like one of my favorite bronzers. It's pretty neutral, I would say. 
I don't know, this is my favorite. I had this for like almost a year and I still haven't reached pan yet. There's like a big dent. I'm just wondering like how deep is this pan that I haven't reached it yet. So with the darker shade, I'm going to put it right there. Nowhere that looks like a little too harsh. We're going to blend it out anyways. Always blend your contour as much as you possibly can. Blend it. <laughs> Try not to put too much on your brush as well. Okay. And I only like to put it halfway, so like this is one. And then the first one, the first powder I put was one and two. So I just do one. And then I also like to put some up here on my temples. I don't really need a lot on my forehead. Oh, I'm running out of powder. Yeah, I don't need a lot on my forehead because it's not that big that I need to like make it look smaller. But if you but if you do have a larger forehead, you are free to contour that as well. I just like mapping it out, nothing too harsh. I just dab it in. Yeah. Okay, so once okay, so once we have that, we take this color brush again and just blend it in time so it can look as natural as possible and sometimes I like to squeeze the brush like this so I can get a more defined So once I blend that out, I go back in with another powder, and I'm using this from Ultra Flush. Um, yeah, I think that's the name. This is the Ultra Flush Powder Foundation 24 Karat Gold. I know, really long name. Ninja Star, that too, because on this package it also comes with a free Ninja Star for some reason. I don't know. It came in a string, so you can wear it as a necklace. And I actually really like the packaging, like it keeps it safe and secure in there and it also comes with a sponge but I'm not really going to use it. Yep, and it's a foundation powder but I bought the darker shade because one, this shade only was on sale. Two, this would make a good like bronzing contour color. So I'm going to go back in with this Real Techniques sculpting brush, dab it gently just like flick off any extra and I'm just gonna put it like at the end because that's where I want like the most shadow is right there and then that is it I don't need any more okay and once you have that you blend again See, it kind of like gives it like a gradient, like shadowy effect that I really like. I mean, you don't have to add three different powders to your face, but I like doing it. Again, I am just blending this out. like all these little baby hairs in the way it's so annoying okay 
and then once we have Once we had that added on, I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk Blush Brush, which I kind of use as my blending brush, and it's really annoying because it does shed a lot. So I'm going to take that and take the sculpting shade right here, just to bronze all over the face because most of this was just contouring. Even if it looks orange on camera, it's pretty like gray toned. So this is just going to warm up the face. I'm just barely touching that. And I just want it all over my face. Yep, just to give it a glow. Make sure I look alive because I am really, really pale. And I like wearing a lot of bronzer because it makes me feel more Latina. At least that's what I like to tell myself. I'm just swirling that in, making sure everything is blended together. See, look, ugh, it's shedding. Ugh, this brush is so annoying when it sheds. Okay. Okay. So that is it for bronzers and contouring shades. Okay, next we're going to do blush as well as well as highlight after that. So I think I'm going to use the MAC Toledo Collection blush in Kindergarten Red and it has a super cool ombre color and it's very like subtle. It's not as bright as I thought it'd be because I swatched it in the store and it was different than when I got it here. So, I guess we'll see Oops, sorry okay so I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Bold Metal blush brush all these strings over there okay so I'm taking the Real Techniques Bold Metal blush brush I'm gonna tap it in the lighter section of this is this even real? oh it's very subtle like you can't even tell like it feels fake <laughs> Okay, I'm going to load my brush up because uh, this is not very pigmented. At least I don't think so. Okay, so I'm just going to take my mirror. Smile really hard. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it is very subtle. Okay. It gave me like the most sheer blush ever, which I do like, but for this price, I thought it would have been like some type of. Well, it says red, and I thought it would have been red. Pretty much. Okay. So I'm just going to do it on the other side. was that okay so I guess now we can do highlight which is one of my favorite parts of makeup yes hmm kind of debating either this one by Mac or I want to use this one by Charlotte Tilbury or I can use both why the hell not okay I'm gonna take this elf I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush brush and I'm taking Max Bao Bao Win highlighter in Summer Opal and I'm just going to I like a dense brush because I like a highlight highlight like I like a strip of highlight see that sheen Uh, okay. Yeah. 
this highlight is so pretty if it's still in any of your MAC stores, I suggest you get it. This is like one of the products from the collection that I really like. I really wanted the lavender lipstick that came with it, but of course it was sold out. Like always. Yeah. Super pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it gives me a really nice sheen. Okay, then I'm going to use the... Okay, then I'm going to use the e.l.f fan brush and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow and I'm using the highlight shade and I'm just going to dust it on top why not have extra highlight nothing wrong with that Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is add the bottom mascara since I didn't do that originally because I was going to put on concealer. So for like a pop of color, I don't know, I'm going to use the NYX color mascara and this is a lavender color. Okay, and one last step I almost forgot was I like to sharpen my contour even more by going over it again with a concealer of whatever I choose. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Touch Lumi, Magic Lumi? Dream Lumi, I think. I think that's what it is. And I just like to go under it like this. Just to really... Whew shape out that contour whoa i can really see it that really looks contoured yes okay <laughs> okay and then i do the other side as well well i'm going to use this fake beauty blender sponge whatever you got use your fingers use a flat top you do you you do you all right i'm just blending this out to give me a super sharp contour Yep, and then I just kind of like to go over it again with whatever leftover bronzer, just in case I like might have covered up too much. Okay, and the very last step, because I like doing this last, I'm going to just add a lip gloss. <laughs> My dog's down there. Uh -huh. 
which is almost finished. This is like the only lip gloss I've used entirely because I hate lip gloss because I have so much hair. Okay. And it smells good. Ugh. Okay, and this was also in the color Bear Pink. Okay, that concludes my tutorial for a contour kind of face for fair skin. You can see it's not very sharp. I mean, not very harsh. It is pretty sharp because I did that reverse contour. But, yeah. I feel like it's super wearable. It's not too crazy. I do use a lot of products, but you can always stick with just using one powder. And you can still look very contoured. You know? Okay. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up subscribe um you can follow me on instagram which is my instagram is rainbow underscore 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 there's two goddess and yep yeah, that's pretty much it if you have any other suggestions of what i should do uh just leave it in the comments below and i will get back to you okay bye thanks for watching can you see my dog there <laughs> what are you doing Okay, bye.